Welcome to the Club at Cheval in Lutes, Florida. We had a request by the owner of the club to do a feature video of all the amenities the club has to offer for the community. In fact, today is the first day of summer camp at the club for children. The golf course review will follow shortly thereafter. We truly hope you enjoy this club review. Time golfers and welcome back to the channel. Today we're at a club called the Club at Cheval in Lutz, Florida. It's a Tampa Bay area. This course was established in 1986. The golf course designer was Steve Smears. From the tips, this course plays just under 7,000 yards. I'm playing from the blue tees, the next one's up at 6,500 yards and change, with a course rating of 72.1 and a slope of 134. With that being said, we ask you to please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Now let's go check out this course and see what it's all about. See you on the first tee. The first hole is a par 4 straight away playing 343 yards. My second shot here at 121 yards, I'm using a gap wedge. The bunker on the right side does come into play and there is water around the back of the green. My second shot landed short here, I have 14 yards, I'm using a sandwich to chip it up. I have a two foot putt left for par. On to hole number two. The second hole is a par four dog leg right playing 350 off the blue tees. My second shot here, I have 57 yards to the pin. I'm using the sandwich, there's water on the left side of the green. I have 14 foot here for birdie. I have a tap in for par. On to hole number three. The third hole is a par three playing 164 from the blue tees today. The water on the right side and the bunkers on right and left side of green do come into play here. They ended up short on my tee shot. I have 11 yards to the pin. I'm using a sandwich to chip up. I have four foot left for par. That is a par. On to number four. The fourth hole is a par 4 dog leg right. The two bunkers that you see in the distance do come into play here. Second shot at 160 yards to the pin. I'm using an 8 iron. The bunker on the right side does come into play. I ended up short right on my second shot. I have 26 yards. Sand wedge.
That leaves me with a 12 foot putt for par here. I have almost two feet for bogey here. That is a bogey on number four. On to hole number five. Between golf holes four and five, there are facilities here for your convenience. The fifth hole is a par four dog leg left, playing 349 from the blue. The water does come into play all the way down. Second shot here at number five. I have 120 yards, and using a gap ledge, the bunker in the front does come into play. I have a 23 foot putt here for birdie. I have a two foot putt here for par. On to hole number six. The sixth hole is a par four playing 436 yards from the blue tees. The water on the right side does come into play if you spray it right. Second shot here, I have 188 yards to the pin. I'm using a six iron because I have heavy wind. The bunker on the left side really doesn't come into play unless you hit it super short. I ended up short here on my second shot. I have 24 foot for birdie. I have a tap in for par, on to hole number seven. The seventh hole is a par five, playing 502 yards in the blue tees. The fairway wraps around the water almost all the way to the green. The bunker in the distance is 275 yards out. I drove through the fairway on my tee shot. I'm using a five iron for position. Third shot, I have 77 yards for the pin. I'm using a sand wedge. Ended up very short on my third shot. I have 15 yards to the pin. Sand wedge to try and get up and down here. I have a six foot putt to save par here. Tap in for bogey. A bogey six on number seven. On to hole number eight. The eighth hole is a par three playing 193 yards today. I'm using a six iron because I have a very strong wind behind me. The water and the bunkers do come into play here. I landed in the bunker over here on the right side. I have 12 yards, sand wedge. I have an eight foot putt left for par here. That is a par number eight, on to number nine. The ninth hole is a par four dog leg right around the water, 402 yards for the blue tees. The water does come into play here, obviously. My second shot, I have 151 yards of the pin. I'm using an eight iron because of the strong headwind. The bunkers and the water does come into play here on the second shot. The wind caught my second shot real well here. I have 14 yards, trying to get up and down with a sand wedge. I have a nine foot putt to try and save par here. Tap in for bogey on number nine. That is a three over par, 38 on the front nine. You guys can catch the back nine of this course next Thursday.